All right, so we are in video three of our five-part series about low back pain. In the first video, we talked about the importance of pelvic thoracic disassociation, basically being able to stabilize your, your pelvis and rotating up top, and then the opposite of being able to stabilize the thoracic, basically your rib cage up, and being able to rotate the pelvis. And we talked about how if you can disassociate or basically move those two segments, um, either together or separately, your lumbar is gonna uh, basically avoid taking most of that stress. So this one here in video two, we talked about the thoracic rotation. Video three is the pelvic rotation. So now we're gonna focus on the lower half. So again, two exercises I want you to focus on, okay? We're gonna work on a strengthening exercise slash corrective exercise. And then the second one is gonna be, again, more of a mobility. Now for this one, we're not looking for, you know, kind of like when you look at uh, leg length and, and flexible hamstrings, can you do the splits? Can you touch your toes? There's obviously some range of motion you can improve. This one here, we're just looking at, can you do it or can you not? Again, if you've done physical assessments with us, this is what we look at, basically holding your torso still, being able to rotate side to side right here, okay? And being able to stabilize the torso and being able to move the pelvis. So here's your strengthening exercise slash corrective exercise, okay? You can do it with a simple band, okay? You don't need a whole lot of band tension, okay? What you want is something pulling you back towards the anchor. You can use a cable uh, machine that we have right out there into our weight room, but a simple band attachment tied off to any post or anything like that's gonna do the job. So for what we're gonna do here is you're gonna stabilize the torso, keep your hands still, and you're gonna rotate your hips away from the anchor point. Because remember, I wanna create rotation this way while the band's trying to pull me that back that way. So we have two opposing forces working against one another and we have to be able to dissociate and control those movements. So when I drive out, I'm gonna hold straight ahead and I'm gonna rotate, come back to center, lining up my belly button, and I always keep my head still for this one for the same reason as that torso rotation. If I turn my head, I'm probably gonna be turning my body and not realizing it. So again, keep your head still, arm still, rotate, back to center, rotate, back to center, okay? Again, five to 10 repetitions, slow and controlled. Um, you could again work that way up to 20. Again, if you're just trying to get more repetition, but again, smooth and steady and move it with intent is gonna be the most important one. Now, mobility exercise, okay? So make sure you hit both sides on that one. Mobility. Right? A simple end post, chair, or a viper will do the job for this, or just simple bar, or like I said, a countertop, anything that's gonna give you complete stability. I'll go from this angle so you can see better give you complete stability up top. Now the band, obviously you're probably thinking, well, what's the difference between this and the band? The band was uh, pulling me back, so I have to really fire these, uh, these oblique muscles and everything in my core to stabilize. This one, nothing's pulling me in the opposite direction. So now I can just rest my hands here and give myself a nice stable position. So I'm gonna kind of go off at an angle here so you can kind of see, but basically you wanna stay squared up with the viper or anything that you're gonna hold on to. Start with your feet together, and then you just twist your torso side to side, okay? Another good trick, if you don't have anything like that, a simple door jam. Uh, getting in between your door frame, holding here, bringing your feet together, and twisting side to side is gonna allow you to do that. Because you give yourself stability up top, it allows you to move freely down below. But remember, we're gonna, we wanna be able to do this without holding on to anything, okay? So when you get this down, again, since this is just a nice, easy movement, I would say 10 each direction, okay? Then you wanna take your feet wider being able to do the same thing. The wider you take your feet, the harder it is gonna be able to do that. So you have to use those deeper internal oblique and these external oblique muscles to really rotate the pelvis and be able to stabilize up top, okay? So again, that's a very simple corrective exercise. Uh, it's kind of one of those exercises where the more you do the movement and you really try to get into that mind-muscle connection, the things will start to clear itself up and, and clean up, okay? Now, so we have a mobility slash corrective exercise, we have strengthening exercise. Use that again for more like how you would use a PT or rehab exercise. I would do that in the beginning of your workout to get all those muscles fired up, or if you know you're about to get on the golf course, the tennis court, or anything else for that matter, use that before the workout and then something after, again, to just retune it and just keep your body fired up, okay? Um, another, one, another one you can do, this is more from a dynamic standpoint, more about pelvic rotation and working on power of the hips. If you refer back to some of Joe's speed and agility class, he talked about karaoke's. Karaoke is basically a dynamic hip turn to get the body turning this way. So the goal here is to turn the hips as fast as you can, but still kind of keep the shoulders in line straight ahead. So slow motion is you cross over and it's up and over, back, up and, 
uh, behind and then back in front. So I will do that, that's a slow motion version, but a quick motion is just quite simply, you're gonna be here, here, twist, twist, and then you twist again. To speed it up even more, to make it even more dynamic, okay, it's a twist, up and over, up and over, up and over, okay? I wouldn't worry about that movement. Like I said, if you watch Joe's video, uh, he goes into that a little more detail. But again, that's a great way to throw into your dynamic warm-ups. Throw into any of your warm-ups. Again, if you're getting ready to go on the tennis court, uh, the golf course, or anything like that. And that is a great dynamic exercise. Something that I would probably throw in after you do these. This to warm things up. This to get them stronger and fired up. And then that way, right there, would be used to help create that power that you're looking for. Whether it's a golf swing, tennis serve, or you're just out. Um, playing with the kids or anything like that. Again, these are great exercises to help the pelvic rotation and help to avoid that low back pain. Thank you.